Good evening. People are remembering Jennifer Reardon tonight as a pillar of our community. She was killed on a Southwest Airlines flight this morning after an engine exploded in flight. Tonight, many are highlighting Reardon's passion, helping people all across New Mexico thrive. News 13's Chris McKee spoke to some of those who knew her. Yeah, Dean and Jessica, we spoke to a few people tonight who worked with Re Jennifer Reardon for more than a decade and who are all shocked to hear of her death. She was there for you. She was there for everybody. It's a big loss for, for everyone. A mother of two, a volunteer, and a leader in New Mexico. It's how people are remembering Jennifer Reardon, the Albuquerque woman who was killed this morning during a bizarre accident on a Southwest Airlines flight bound for Dallas where an engine exploded. We're all going to miss her dearly. Alice Garza knew Reardon for a decade, meeting her when she started as the community relations manager for Wells Fargo in New Mexico. Alice and Jennifer were both appointed to the state's Community Volunteerism Commission. She wanted the best, you know, for, for this town, this state, and if you were saying, Jennifer, I'm struggling with this, she says, well, how can I help you? The help she gave also reached the local Catholic Church. Probably one of the most positive people that I ever met in my life. Ed Laranyaga is president of the Catholic Foundation for the Archdiocese of Santa Fe. He recruited Jennifer three years ago to serve on the foundation's board. You know true sincerity uh, when it's put into action, and that was Jennifer. Jennifer wanted to put things into action. She really wanted to, to show how she could make a difference, and she really wanted to get involved with that. Although it is a, a tragic loss, um, I know that people are better uh, for having known her. Now the Reardon family sent a statement tonight saying Jennifer's vibrancy, passion, and love infused the community and reached across the country. Dean. All right, Chris, thank you. Jennifer Reardon leaves behind a son and a daughter and a husband, Michael Reardon, who previously worked for the city of Albuquerque as Mayor Richard Berry's COO. Witnesses who were on board the flight described what happened to CBS News. So first there was an explosion, and then almost immediately the oxygen mask come down, and then probably within a matter of 10 seconds, the, the engine then hit a window and busted it wide open. And then um, the, like that explosion uh, critically injured a passenger that was sitting in uh, row 17 uh, feet C. Mm -hmm. And she was critically injured and taken on a stretcher off the plane. Tonight we also spoke to an Albuquerque man who was on the flight. He says a firefighter and another man did all they could to save Reardon. They say they helped pull her back into the plane. Tonight, the National Transportation Safety Board is trying to figure out what went wrong. The engine in the airliner is one of the most popular jet engines. It's seen as reliable and safe. Casings are designed to keep parts from flying off during an engine failure. But investigators believe Reardon got hit by strapnel that smashed a window. Seven other people were treated for injuries. We do know that parts came off the engine, but those parts may not have been in that section of the engine that is associated with the protection region. Southwest Airlines has a good safety record with only 17 major accidents and incidents since it began in 1967, including a similar engine failure in August of 2016.